dear friend this is gs paper 4 which is related to ethics and its case studies uh, let's see how was the question and many state governments are holding the ethics as a fourth paper so we have to see that paper the case study here is a case studies in the first question uh, do you understand by what do you understand by moral integrity and professional efficiency in the context of a corporate governance in india illustrate with the suitable example bharat mein corporate shasan ke sambandh mein naitik imandari aur preserver khemata ke khemata se aap kya samjhate hai upayukt udaharan dekar spasht kijiye o हमारी जो कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस है उसके उसके लिए जो मॉरल इंटीग्रिटी एंड प्रोफेशनल एफिशिएंसी वो क्या है उस चीज़ को वही एग्जांपल के साथ समझना होगा एंड इन बी सेक्शन इन बी क्वेश्चन इंटरनेशनल एड आर इज एन एक्सेप्टेड फॉर्म ऑफ हेल्पिंग रिसोर्स चैलेंज नेशन कमेंट ऑन एथिक्स इन कंटेम्प्टरी इंटरनेशनल एड और आर्ट्स इन सपोर्ट यर आंसर विथ ए सुटेबल एग्जाम्पल जो इंटरनेशनल आर्ट्स होते हैं वो हमारे देश को कैसे एथिक्स से परस्पेक्ट से हेल्प करता है उस चीज़ को हमको यहाँ पे विथ एग्जाम्पल के साथ सॉफ्ट करना है ये सेकेंड क्वेश्चन करप्शन इज द मैनिफेस्टर ऑफ द फेलियर ऑफ अ कोर वैल्यू इन द सोसाइटी इन योर ओपिनियन हार्ट मेजर कैन बी अडोप्टेड टू अफ्लिक द कोर वैल्यू इन द सोसाइटी जो करप्शन होता है ना वो हमारे सोसाइटी की जो कोर वैल्यू उसे वो फेलियर कर देता है इसीलिए हमारी मतलब है उसके मेजर क्या चाहिए जिस तरह के हम हमारी सोसाइटी की जो मॉरल वैल्यू है वो इनक्ट रहे एंड इन बी क्वेश्चन इन द कंटेस्ट ऑफ वर्क एनवायरमेंट डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन कोरेशन एंड ऑन ड्यू इन्फ्लुएंस विथ स्वेटेबल एग्जाम्पल वर्क एनवायरमेंट जो जहाँ पर हम सब काम करते हैं हमको वहाँ पर डिसाइड करना होगा कि जबरदस्ती और अनुचित प्रभाव क्या है उसके साथ उसकी एग्जाम्पल क्योंकि जब कोई कंपनी और कुछ भी चीज़ होता है वहाँ पे कुछ लोगों को बहुत सारा दिक्कत होता है लाइक बक्साइड माइनिंग एरिया और इन एनी रीजन वन पीपल आर डिसप्लेस्ड एंड पोअर आर फेसिंग द मोर इशूज दे वी कम होमलेस सो आर द प्रॉब्लम इन थर्ड नंबर क्वेश्चन गिवेन बिलो आर द थ्री कोटेशन ऑफ ग्रेट थिंकर हमको एक कोटेशन के बेस पर हमारी आंसर को एनहांस करना होगा इन द एम द सिंपलेस्ट एक्ट ऑफ काइंडनेस आर वाई फेयर मोर पावरफुल दैन द थाउजेंड हैंड बोइंग इन द प्लेयर्स यस हमको एक छोटी सी काइंडनेस की जरूरत है ये क्योंकि जो हैंड गार्ड के सामने झुकता है उसी से ज़्यादा एक दुखी इंसान और जो नीडी है उसे एक चीज़ हेल्प कर देने से उसी की जो और जो थाउजेंड की प्रेयर होते हैं ना उसी से ज़्यादा बड़ा है इसलिए हेल्प अदर लिव फॉर योर सेल्फ एंड फॉर अदर वो चीज़ बहुत आसान है लेकिन इम्प्लीमेंट करना डिफिकल्ट है इन बी टू अवेक द पीपल इट इज द वमेन हु मस्ट बी अवेक्ट वन सीज ऑन द मूव द फैमिली मूव द विलेज मूव द नेशन मूव The statement is given by Jawaharlal Nehru, and this is the in the context of when women becomes ah uh, empowered and educated, its family will be move, and the people who are associated with her will move, and the nation ultimately move because women is equal to men. We should bring the gender equality. In C. Do not hate anybody because that hatred that come out from you must in the long run come back to you. If you love, that love will come back to you, completing the circle. Swami Vivekananda. Yes, this statement is so true because the karma which is working, it will work. If we give someone. 
flower maybe we not get flower but we can get the fragrance of the sweetness so similar way if we show the uh, see a uh, good seeds we get good results and the good foods similarly we should not hurt anybody in our life because uh, if someone do something wrong with us it is okay it is their karma not our we should be humble and we should be in our own way in four number four number question a what really matter for success character happiness lifelong achievement in definitely set up emotional skills your um, uh, eq not just purely cognitive ability that are measured by conventional iq tests do you agree with this view give reason the support of answer सक्सेस के लिए क्या मैटर करता है कैरेक्टर और हैप्पीनेस और लाइफ लंग अचीवमेंट वो सारी चीज़ जो इमोशनल स्किल होता है क्या क्या चाहिए वो सारी चीज़ को हमको डिस्कशन करना होगा कैरेक्टर इज द बेस्ट पॉलिस हम सब जानते हैं इसलिए हमारी कैरेक्टर सही होनी चाहिए और इसमें साथ साथ कैंडनेस हैप्पीनेस बिकॉज हैप्पीनेस इज अवर राइट्स एंड नो वन कैन बी कैन बी स्टोलन इट फ्रॉम अस When ever we feel the maybe how much pain, or how much depression, how much painful the situation, we must laugh, because it is our bath right, like a yeah, like water. It is free. It is our choice. It is our mindset. In B, differentiate the moral intuition from a moral reasoning with a suitable example. हमको मोरल इंट्यूशन फ्रॉम मोरल रीजनिंग से वो सूटेबल एग्जैक्ट के साथ डिफ्रेंशिएट करना होगा यानी फाइव नंबर क्वेश्चन इज कंसाइंस इज मोर रिलेबल गाइड व्हेन कंपेयर टू लॉस रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन इन द कंटेक्स ऑफ एथिकल डिसीजन मेकिंग डिस्कस यस कंसाइंस इज मोर रिलेबल एज कंपेयर टू लॉ रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन बिकॉज द Inner voice, the voice which is more powerful than the court of justice and court of the supreme court, high court. It is the court of the God's court. Here, our more intuition is present, and we can decide what is wrong and right. So, the feelings. This is the God gifted things. And in B number question, poverty is the. एसेंशियल फार्म ऑफ इफेक्टिव सिस्टम ऑफ गवर्नेंस एंड सोशियो इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट डिस्कस यहाँ पर हमको सत्यनिष्ठ कैसे एक सिस्टम को अच्छे के लिए गवर्नेंस के लिए और उसकी सोशियो इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट के लिए रोल प्ले करता है उस चीज़ को देखना होगा इन सिक्स नंबर क्वेश्चन व्हाट आर द मेजर टीचिंग ऑफ गुरु नानक गुरु नानक की जो टीचिंग है उस सारी चीज़ को हमको डिस्कशन करना होगा एक्सप्लेन देर रिलीवेंस इन द कंडक्टर वाल जो कंडक्टर वाल है उसकी जो जो टीचिंग है वो वगैरह कैसे कैसे हेल्प करता है क्योंकि टू डे सोसाइटी जो सो चाउटी के अंडर दे आर इज दम ऑफ करप्शन नॉइस एंड क्रोनिक कैपिटलिज्म मॉब लीचिंग एंड दे आर इज नॉट सोशल हारमोनी तो सोसाइटी इज मोर आउट ऑफ ऑर्डर शू टू ब्रिंग इन द peaceful way and to bring in equilibrium to balance we must follow the uh, novel persons saying and they are path in b explain the term social capital social capital kya hai samajik punji ko vyakhya kijiye how does it enhance good go- governance good governance ke liye social capital kaise helpful hoga and in section b there is case studies this is the big big case studies you are working as executive in the nationalized bank for several year one day one of your close colleagues tell you that her father is suffering from heart disease and need surgery immediately to survive she also tell you that she has to insurance and the operation will cost about 10 lakh You are also aware of the fact that her husband is no more, and that she is from a lower middle class family. You are empathetic about her situation. However, apart from expressing your sympathy, do you not have the resources to find her? 
who do not have the resource to find her a few week later you asked her about the well being of her father and she informed you about his successful surgery and that he is recovering she then confided you that the bank manager was kind enough to facilitate the release of 10 lakh from a dormant account of someone to pay for the operation with a promise that it should be confidential and be repaid at the earliest she has already started paying it back and will continue to do so until it is all returned what are the ethical issues involved this is a situation where a bank account is a dormant situation but there is a money someone is running that bank out it is someone else but recently due to some reason we don't know the account is dormant so the bank manager has given from this account to her uh and the she is paying the, uh, the uh, continuously will pay ethical issue kya kya ho sakta hai evaluate the behavior of a bank manager from ethical point of view how do you react to the situation agar hum hote to wahan par kya karte hain and in eight number question a landslide occurred in the middle of night in the 20th july 2023 in the remote mountain helmand approximately 60 km from the uttarakashi the landslide was caused by terrestrial rains and has resulted in the large scale destruction of property and life you are the district magistrate of that area have ro- rushed to the spot with a team of doctor and jo media and police other with the numerous support staff to oversee the rescue operation a man came running to with a request for urgent medical help for his pregnant wife who is in labor and is losing blood you directed your medical team to examine his wife then return and convey to you that this is the woman need blood transfusion immediately upon the inquiry you came to know that a flu blood collection bag and blood group test kits are available in ambulance accompanying your team few people of a team have already volunteered to the donate blood this is the case study i am storing so after that i will explain Being a physician who has graduated from a AIIMS, you know that blood for transfusion need to be procured only through a recognized blood bank. Your team member are divided on this issue. Some of a favor transfusion, while some other opposite. The doctor in the team are ready for facilitating the delivery, provided they are not penalized for transfusion. Now we are in the demand dilemma. Your professional training emphasizes on the prioritizing the service to the humanity and saving the lives of individuals. Here, क्या 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 इतिहास चैलेंज हो सकता है क्योंकि आप सब लोग ये क्या रेस्क्यू ऑपरेशन में जा रहे हैं वहाँ पे एक लोग आता है कि उसकी वाइफ की अर्जेंट ब्लड नीड है उसी प्रेग्नेंट भी हुए आप वहाँ पर क्या करेंगे जो ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूजन है ब्लड डोनेट करने के लिए टीम भी तैयारी है ब्लड किट भी अवेलेबल है लेकिन जो ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूजन ट्रांसफ्यूजन ले को लेकर जो डिलेमा है उसे कैसे हैंडल करेंगे वो एथिकल चैलेंज क्या है एवल द ट्रॉप ऑप्शन अवेलेबल टू यू बीइंग ए डिस्ट्रिक्ट मजिस्ट्रेट ऑफ द एरिया बताओ क्या क्या करना है नाइन नंबर क्वेश्चन At 9 p.m. on a Saturday evening, Rasika, uh, a joint secretary, was still engrossed in her work in her office. Her husband, Vikram, is an executive in the MNC and frequently out of town in connection with his work. Their two children, aged five and three, are looking after her. They are by domestic helper. At 3:19 p.m., her uh, superior. Mr. Suresh called her and asked her to prepare a detailed note on an important matter to be discussed in a meeting in the ministry. She realized that the CEO will have to work on a Sunday to finish additional tasks given by her superior. She reflected on how she had looked forward to this posting and hard work 
long hour for months to achieve it. She has skipped the welfare of her people who permanently discharge her duty. She feels that she has not done enough just to her family. She has not fulfilled her duty in discharging the essential social obligations. Even on recently, the last month, she has to leave her sick child in the town. Nani's care. She has to work in the office new. Now she feels that she must draw a line beyond which her personal life should not be privileged over her professional precedence over her professional responsibility. She thinks that there should be a reasonable limit on the work ethic, such as punctuality, hard work, dedication to duty, and selfless service. This is the question about personal life and professional life because people who can't maintain personal and professional life there is conflict and we should give the equal priority uh, the personal life is powerful because it is support us emotionally it binds us with society and it's create us and it build us and it help us growing and it provides us love the personal life is more secure and in professional life uh, this, this is also important but the things is different from personal life when both situation will go hand to hand the system is balanced and when one system is uh, unable to maintain its structure other will be destroyed immediately so this is the common problem and common challenges everyone facing this here what are the ethical issues involved in this case Briefly describe at least four laws that have been enacted by the government with respect to providing health, safety, and equitable work environment for women. Women is the more physical challenge, but they are not. Uh, they have also equal mind as men, but the women linked more toward the family, and emotionally they connected. Imagine you are in the similar situation. What suggestion would you make the mitigate such working condition? If we are here, what do we do? What do we suggest? In 10 number question, Binod is an honest and sincere IS officer. He has taken over the managing director of the state road transport corporation. He is sixth transfer in the past three years. His fear acknowledges his vast knowledge of of abilities and of brightness. The chairman of the state road transport commission is a powerful politician and is very close to the chief minister. Binant come to know that about the alleged irregularity of the corporation and high headness of the chair man in the financial matters a board member of the corporation belonging to opposition party meet bina that hand over a few document along with video recording which is the chairman appear to be the demanding bribe for replacing a huge order of the supply qmr tires bina the kaya recollect the chairman expecting the clearing of spending bill of a qmr tires Bina the confirm the board member as to why he is shying away from the exploiting the chairman with so called solid proof he has with him. The member informed him that the chairman refused to add this threat. He added that Bina may earn recognition and public support if he himself exposed the chairman. Further, he told Bina that once his party come to power, Bina the professional growth would be assured. Binod is aware that he may be penalized if he exposes the chairman and may further be transport the dis- distance place. He knows that the opposition party stand a better chance of coming to power in forthcoming elections. However, he also realized that the board member is trying to use him for his own political gain. Oh, job. आप ब्यूरोक्रेटी के लिए पॉलिटिकल इन्फ्लुएंस कैसे होता है वो पॉलिटिकल इन्फ्लुएंस को कैसे हैंडल करेगा वो सारी चीज़ यहाँ पे है बिकॉज पॉलिटिशियन हैज पावर टू ट्रांसफर आई एस ऑफिसर टू वन स्टेट टू अनदर सो यहाँ पर ये दिया है कि अगर 
बिना अंत की एथिकल सिचुएशन क्या है आज ए कॉन्शियस सिविल सर्वेंट एवेलुएट द ऑप्शन अवेलेबल टू बिनंत क्या क्या ऑप्शन अवेलेबल है बिनंत के पास और ट्रांसफर को डरेगा क्या और प्रमोशन के लिए उस पॉलिटिशियन को हेल्प करेगा इन द लाइट ऑफ द एबोस केस कॉमेंट ऑपन द एथिकल इशूज दैट में बी आर आई जी द पॉलिटिशियन ऑफ द ब्यूरोक्रेसी एंड इन इलेवन नंबर क्वेश्चन यू हैव जस्ट अपॉइंटेड एट द एडिशनल डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ सेंट्रल पब्लिक वर्क डिपार्टमेंट द चीफ आर्किटेक्ट ऑफ योर डिविजन हु इज टू रिटायर इन सिक्स मंथ इज पैशनेटली वर्किंग ऑन ए वेरी इंपोर्टेंट प्रोजेक्ट द सक्सेसफुल कंप्लीटन ऑफ हु इज वुड आन हिम ए लास्टिंग रिपुटेशन फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ हिज लाइफ आई न्यू लेडी आर्किटेक्ट सीमा ट्रेन एंड मंचेस्टर स्कूल ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर यू के जॉन एस एम ए सीनियर आर्किटेक्ट यूनियर डिविजन ड्यूरिंग द ब्रीफिंग अबाउट द प्रोजेक्ट द सीमा मेड सम सजेशन हुई चुड नॉट ओनली एड वैल्यू टू द प्रोजेक्ट बट वुड ऑल्सो रिड्यूस कम्प्लीशन टाइम दिस हेज मेड द चीफ आर्किटेक्ट इन सिक्योर एंड ही इज कंस्टली वरिंग दैट ऑल द क्रेडिट विल गिव टू हर Subsequently, he adopted a passive and aggressive behavior toward her, and has become the disrespect to her. Sima felt his embracing as the chief architect left no chance of humiliating her. He would very often correct her in front of other colleagues and raise his voice while speaking to her. His continuous harassment has resulted in her losing confidence and self-esteem. She felt perpetually tense, anxious, and stressed. She appeared to be the O of him, since he has a long tenure in the office and has vast experience in area for work. You are aware of her outstanding academic credential and career record in her previous organization. However, you fear that this harassment may result in the compromising her much needed contribution in this important project and may adversely impact her emotional well-being you have also come to know for her peers that she is completing tenuring her recognition oh isu wahan par hota hai ki team member ke liye coordination jo hum jiske sath kaam karte hai wo colleague hai wo hamare senior junior wo sab hai um sam ke sath hum hum उसी रेस्पेक्ट के साथ बात करनी है क्योंकि एक अच्छे इंसान की पहचान है उसकी बिहेवियर से होता है क्योंकि रेस्पेक्ट इज वन ऑफ थिंक वी शुड गिव यदर बिफोर वी आर्न इन ट्वेल्व नंबर क्वेश्चन यू दिस इज बी नो नो दिस इज ई ट्वेल्व नंबर क्वेश्चन You hold a responsibility position in the ministry in the government. One day in the morning, you receive a call from the school of your eleven-year-old son that you are required to the come and meet the principal. You proceed to the school and find your son in the principal office. The principal informs you that your son has been found wandering aimlessly in the ground during the time classes were in the progress. The class teacher further informed that your son has lately become a loner and did not respond to questions in the class. He has also been unable to perform well in the football trial held recently. You bring your son back from school and in the evening, and you, along with your wife, try to find out the reason of your son's changed behavior. After a repeated Cautioning your son said that some children had been taking fun of him in the class as well in WhatsApp group of students by calling him a stunted dog and frog. He tell you the name of a few children who are main culprit, but pleads with you to let the matter rest. After a few days during a sporting event. Where you and your wife has gone to watch your son's play, one of her colleagues' son showed you a video in which student have a caricature your son. Further, he also point out to the perpetrators who are sitting in the stands. Yar, you purposefully walk past them with your son and go home. 
नेक्स्ट यू फाइंड ऑन सोशल मीडिया वीडियो है जी डेनिंग ग्रेटिंग यू योर सन एंड इवन योर वाइफ स्टेटिंग दैट यू एंगेज इन फिजिकल बॉलिंग ऑफ साइल ऑन स्पॉट फील्ड द भिडियो कम भाइराल अन् सोशियाल मीडिया एर फ्रेंड एंड कलिग विगेन कलिंग यू टू फाइंड आउट द डिटेल वन अफ हर जूनियर एडभाइस यू टू मेक ए काउंटर भिडियो ग्रीव इन द ब्राकग्राउंड एंड एक्सप्लेन दैट नथिंग हाड हापन ऑन द फिल्ड यू इन द टर्म पोस्टर भिडियो हो हाफ कैप्चर ड्यूरी स्पटिंग इवेंट आईडेंटिफाई द लाइक प्रिपेटर हो आर रेस्पनसिबल हो आर सन्स प्रेडिकमेंट यू हाव अलसो नारेटेड ह्वाट हाज एक्चुअली हापेन इन द फिल्ड एंड हार्ड Attempt to bring out the adverse effect of a misuse of social media. Here, the abuse of uh, social media with the child issue because child harassment, child trafficking is here happening, and the uh, people are taunting. This is the our responsibility of our teacher parents because only not teacher will be helpful for student success, and not only only parent will help both when student teacher. Uh, and the parents will guide then the student can be grow so the we should watch our child because the they are the future uh, citizen who can bring our country more development these are the question so this is the also impeding the this is also showing the bad effect of social media these are the ethics question question was yeah easy to moderate level but can be attainable uh, thank you for watching and keep please keep watching our videos for more update thank you